Hi, welcome to PC Mag Live. I'm Alex Colon. This is Max Eddy. And today we're going to talk about the top three news stories of the day, answer one of your questions, and show you one cool thing from the PC Mag Labs. So let's get to the first news story of the day, which is that Google has said that ads might be coming to Internet of Things devices. It's a really interesting little uh, thing that's going on here. They sent a letter to the SEC informing them that ads on refrigerators, cars, dash car dashboards, thermostats, glasses, watches, anything is up for grabs. Um, so I mean, one thing though, uh, people were wondering are are ads going to come to the nest? Like, is your thermostat suddenly going to you know tell you that you need to go out and buy toilet paper? Or perhaps your uh, fire your fire alarm warning you that you know now now be be a good time to buy some batteries. Thankfully, it seems that Google is not going to do that. But we should all remember that Google is an ad company. This is not really a surprising move. If we were expecting anything else than uh, ads on watches and glasses from them, then we were delusional. I mean, they just want us to live in a Philip K. Dick novel. I mean, that's just <laughs> what's going to happen. Yeah, and like I said, ads are their bottom line. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so the uh, second story, which is hackers have figured out a way to unbrick stolen iPhones. That's kind of scary. It is. And so what this is, is that there are uh, certain tools that Apple supplies users to remotely control stolen or lost iPhones. Uh, you've probably heard of iCloud, iCloud locked phones. We actually have a story about it on Security Watch right now. So what you need to do to unlock one of these things is normally type in your iCloud password. Not so anymore. Some hackers claim that they have been able to circumvent the entire process. What's more, they say they told Apple about it in March and are just now telling the world because Apple ignored them. The site is apparently down, but that wasn't an, uh, it was after many, many people unlocked these phones. Uh, I imagine now that the news is out there, Apple will probably issue a fix at some point in the future. I mean, assuming they know how to fix it, yeah. But now the cat might be out of the bag on this particularly good security feature. I, I'm I'm pretty saddened by this, so I'm hoping that it'll be fixed quickly. Um, some more kind of uh, interesting news. Uh, Facebook can now tell what music you're listening to or what TV show you're watching by listening um, as, as you're making a status update. Yeah, more news from the Orwellian <laughs> front, really. Um, so when you type in a status update, Google, uh, excuse me, Facebook will listen, will listen in and identify songs, television shows, and movies that are playing in the background. It's an opt-in service and a little bit creepy, but their whole goal is to drive more traffic towards uh, sponsored pages for songs, uh, bands, and television shows and the like. Um, that's kind of, I mean, so it's, it's just going to be able to actually hear whatever TV show you're watching and say that Max is watching The Simpsons. Exactly. It'll just add it right into your, uh, right into your status update. But remember, they're hearing everything, but they're only listening to certain things. They say that your audio will not be stored and that they can't identify conversations, but that microphone is on and everything goes through it. Right. Well, at least it's an opt-in feature. It's for an opt-in feature for now. And now we've got a question from one of our readers. Uh, Barbara on Twitter asks, what is a good workout tracker to use on an elliptical trainer and for spinning as well? Uh, that's actually a pretty simple answer. All you need is a heart rate monitor and a digital fitness app. Um, our digital fitness guru, Jill Duffy, recommends the Mio Link um, paired with the Runtastic Pro, which is a sports activity app, um, and it supports indoor activities like the treadmill and elliptical and running. Well, Alex, I think it's that time again. I think it is. We are now going to show you one cool thing. It's pretty cool. This is the Digital Storm Caridium. It's a high-end gaming PC, uh, as demonstrated by the buzzing fans, blinking, well, on lights, and weird tubes. So tell me about this thing, Alex. Uh, well, this is a nearly $8,000 PC. Um, our, our analyst, Brian Westover, describes it as having unstoppable graphics performance with dual AMD Radeon graphics cards. Um, there's an overclocked Intel hex core processor, liquid cooling throughout. Um, I think the, the only knock against it is that there's limited room for upgrades, but otherwise this is a top of the line gaming PC. Why would you want to upgrade if you're going to spend $8,000 on a PC? Yeah, you better not be upgrading anytime soon. Well, this looks fantastic. I, I don't know if it would really match the decor in my man cave, but you know, <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow. So long.